hello, 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 all of my beautiful loves, and welcome to your sitting with Isis Oracle card of the day. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Stephanie Carlson. I am a healer, mentor, and meditation guide based out of Calgary, Alberta. And I work with you one-on-one -on -one through NLP, mindset programming, breath work, and holy fire Reiki to really help you move through limiting beliefs, perspectives, traumas, and triggers from your past to rewrite the narratives and the experiences that your soul has been through in this life so that you can evolve so that you can ascend into a higher level of awareness of consciousness of empowerment within your own daily life understanding the energies and the emotions within yourself and how your body is speaking to you and being able to connect into becoming the observer so that you can better become the divine co-creator and so I've been doing these cards of the day to help guide you, move you, and empower you through your journey and your experience. Today we have Mother of Life, Nourishment of the Golden Grain Mother. And so this card, I'm trying to see, will Ganesh hold it? Right? And like find a way to make Ganesh hold it so we can literally put it in the thing. No. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, my friends. So mother of life with this card. I feel with the mother of life card, I'm getting a lot of like coming back into your roots, right? So we have the Lion's Gate portal that opened on the 26th and it will stay open until the 12th of August with the most powerful day being the August 8th for the 8-8, right? And so eight is the number of self. It's the strength card. It's the infinity symbol. It's the number for abundance and manifestation. And when you look at it with the eight because it's that interwoven togetherness right it's the unity it's it's the balance but recognizing even within the balance of looking at the infinity symbol one side is always going to feel a little bit bigger than the other right because it's it's a flow it's 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 an energy it's a being right and so when you look at your masculine and feminine energy within yourself, right? How can you come back and connect into like the mother and father, but coming beyond the mother and father of your physical human experience, right? Connecting back into the roots of the divine mother, right? The, the aligned father. So Mama Gaia and Daddy Sky realizing that through this process of recognizing that we are so much greater than the physical human forms that we are embodying, we give ourselves permission to be able to connect into that higher level of awareness, right? And when you think of the mother, it's coming back into that nurturing, right? That birthing of that new self into a space of divine empowerment, alchemizing and aligning with what it is that you are attracting. Letting go of that energy of chasing because what you're doing is you're recognizing the value and worthiness that you hold within you, right? It says nourishment of the golden grain mother. So nourishing your soul with energy that is greater than your physical 3D reality. Stepping into that realm of being able to emotionally detach 
from the experiences that you have gone through within this physical human life and allowing yourself to witness the abundance of growth, the empowerment, the lessons, right? When, when you're attracting things, the universe doesn't respond to words the universe responds to the energy behind the words right so the words are the vibration of what you're sending out and then the emotions and the energy is like the rhythm right and so when you're thinking about the rhythm that you're sitting in within that level of worthiness, right? If you put a vibration of wanting something out into the universe, but you're in a space of it's never going to happen, you're subconsciously like disconnecting yourself and holding yourself back from allowing yourself to actually step through that door into that embodiment because then you have to become somebody that you've never been, right? You have to let go of those toxic negative past belief systems where you think that the physical 3D manifestations of what you've already manifested is all you're ever going to experience. And when you give yourself that permission to let go of that perspective, you allow yourself to open the door to stepping into the Lunar Queen, she of the Celestial Crescent. And so this is all about, for me, this is like opening the door to those deeper emotions, right? What are those deeper emotions showing you about you and then allowing yourself to go back into the roots of where they come from, right? And, and sitting within those emotions. Because when we recognize that emotions are energy in motion and you have to feel it to heal it, right? It doesn't mean that that's what you're going to be, but you have to allow yourself the space to be able to nurture those emotions, to love yourself through those emotions, through those mindsets, through those perspectives, and through those past experiences so that you can recognize the empowerment and the abundance and the magnitude that is you. And when you let go of the roots of the belief system telling you that something has to be this, something has to be that, you allow yourself to shift the focal point into actually being something that is resonating with you, opening yourself to the experiences of new beginnings through the rebirthing process of shedding that old and stepping into the new. We can sometimes fall into existing and doing rather than truly living. We only know that this has happened when suddenly our life seems dry, depleted, filled with tasks, or it feels like we are stuck in a rut or habit that may have been comfortable but is becoming stifling and suppressing. Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to restore even the most numb, resistant, and difficult circumstances <laughs> and people back into life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be bold and brave. Open your arms and receive. So with this card for the ritual, you may like to light some candles or do this ritual in a softly lit room without strong lighting 
or absolute darkness. So it's really allowing yourself to just settle into that space and just be. Rest quietly in a space where you will not be disturbed, preferably sitting or laying with your spine relatively straight and close your eyes or rest them lightly half open. With the sense of gazing inwards and having soft focus as your eyes gaze slightly downwards and in front of you. Visualize or sense that within your heart there is a beautiful golden light that extends until it becomes an endless field of golden grain wafting lightly in the breeze under a clear blue sky. The grain is almost ready to harvest and the light seems sun-kissed and golden. There is warmth and a pleasant earthy scent in the air and the warmth on your skin that is neither too hot nor too cold. You can sense yourself walking or resting amongst the golden fields of grain, feeling the bounty, peace, and life. You become aware of a golden woman gazing down at you from the sky. Her dress is the grain, her hands are the winds, gently caressing your face and hair. And her eyes are the sun and the moon you feel great love. Imagine in that state of connection with the mother of life, you can breathe in deeply and breathe out, releasing through your breath any fear, doubt, or attachment, even any of your history that would prevent you from really opening up to live more fully into all parts of your being now. Your body, your sexuality, your spirituality, your creativity, your intuitive and inspirational mind, and so on. Just breathe in and let go as you breathe out. Imagine the gentle breeze of the mother of life sweeping away that which you wish to release and replenishing you with her unconditional love. As you continue to breathe, settle into this invocation as you allow yourself to witness the releasing and celebrate the activating. I call to the blessed mother of life. Gift me with boldness, courage, and love. Help me let go of the past. Help me surrender the ways I have shrunk back from life. To protect and hide parts of me that were hard to deal with. Let me know the fullness of life, love and acceptance of myself and others. Let me just be with you without pretense or hiding. Let me grow joyfully and be myself in the world. I accept your help in unconditional love now.
life flows through me full and unique. As you continue to breathe and allow yourself to bask in this beautiful cleansing and healing ritual, take as much time as you need for this practice. And when you are ready, bringing your awareness back into the edges of your reality and back into your life and your body fully opening your eyes and taking a big breath in and out, being aware of your body and coming completely back into this present moment. <clears throat> When you hold space for yourself to go through the process, to show up, to heal, to transform. And when you hold space for yourself to recognize that the healing journey is not linear. It is not a one and done. It is not a going through this and I'm never going to have to experience it again. It's allowing yourself to recognize and understand that when you're faced with similar situations and experiences, that external experience is mirroring back onto you a deeper internal belief or relationship or perspective that is no longer serving you. And it's time for you to ask yourself, what value is this adding into my life? How is this helping me get to be where I want to be? Or am I ready to let it go? Am I ready to step into the full embodiment of feeling supported, protected, guided, empowered, and safe within myself, whether I am like hot mess express or eagles in a row with divine flow, your value and worthiness and sense of wholeness never changes right? You are always valued. You are always worthy. You are forever whole and completely enough because you are stardust, right? You are a child of the stars having a physical human experience. And it's okay for you to shift that focus and to transform how it is that you get to choose to show up for you. So I love and appreciate you all. I hope this message resonates and connects with you. If you would like to book a personal reading or work with me one-on-one, -on -one, check out the link below and I would love to speak and connect with you to see if we are in alignment, if our energies flow, and if working together would be a really positive thing for you to really help you step into that next level and start to believe in your ability to live that whole new life experience and reality because you are choosing you for you and that doesn't mean that you're negating those around you what you're doing is you're putting your own oxygen mask on first so that you can support and empower those that are guided towards you. So have a beautiful and amazing day and I will see you guys all soon. Happy Lionsgate Portal Manifestations!